So this next lesson might not seem like it belongs in a human CPR course. And although they're not humans, we do believe pets are family too. And that's why we decided to include dog CPR into our curriculum. I'm gonna hand things over to Dr. Bobby Connor. Dr. Connor is a licensed veterinarian and a veterinary professor at the University of Florida. To give chest compressions to your pet during CPR, you first wanna make sure that you're both positioned appropriately. Your pet should be on his side. Either side is fine, and you should be positioned above him so that when you're giving compressions, you can lock your elbows. You don't want him too close to you because if you have to do compressions this way, you'll lose a lot of strength. Now your hand position will be a little bit different depending on whether or not you have a big or a small animal. For dogs that are about 25 pounds or bigger, you wanna put your hands over the widest part of the chest. So generally back a little bit closer to the spine in the middle of the chest, right about here for Quinn. You're gonna put one hand on top of the other. Again, lock your elbows, and that's how you're gonna give the compressions. For cats and smaller dogs, you wanna put your hands over the heart, and to find where the heart would be, bend the top leg until you find the point of the elbow. Where the point of the elbow meets the chest is about where the heart is gonna be, and that's where you wanna position your hands. Again, one over the other, or in very small animals, you can put your thumb and fingers on either side of the chest and squeeze that way. All right, Quinn. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna lay this towel down so that you can see my stuffed animal a little bit more easily. But the basic rules are gonna be the same. Put your hands in position over the heart or the widest part of the chest, depending on the size, over the animal with elbows locked, and compress the chest. Each compression should be even and should compress the chest by about a half to a third of the width of the chest, making sure that you release completely in between compressions. Now, you're going to want to give about 100 to 120 compressions per minute, which is a lot, and it's also very difficult to get that pace down. So some tricks that you can use is give the compressions to the beat of one of a couple songs. One would be Staying Alive by the Bee Gees, or if you prefer Queen, you can go with Another One Bites the Dust. So again, position your hands, lock your elbows, and give compressions as so. Now. If you're by yourself, you're gonna to need to interrupt compressions after about 30 to give two rescue breaths. You're also gonna to wanna to check the pulse at that time to see if it's returned. If not, immediately return to chest compressions. Ideally though, you're gonna have a partner. And so if you have more than one rescuer, you should be alternating roles. While one person is giving chest compressions without interruption, the other person is giving res rescue breaths one about every six to eight seconds. Now giving chest compressions can be exhausting, so you will need to switch roles about every two minutes. And these transitions need to be smooth so that we minimize interruptions in chest compressions. Don't forget to check for a pulse, and if you do find that the pulse has returned, you'll need to transport your pet immediately to a veterinary facility. Chester, Chester, he's not breathing. I can't feel a pulse. Anna, I'm gonna need your help. Can you give him a breath every eight seconds? Okay, it's, it's been almost two minutes. Can you come around and tell me if you feel a pulse? No pulse. Okay, I'm starting to get tired, so I'm gonna need you to switch out with me. Can you put your hands over mine? And on the count of three. One, two, three, go. And we're gonna continue like that until we either get a pulse back or 10 to 20 minutes have gone by. We hope you've enjoyed learning about dog CPR from Dr. Connor. She created a course with pro trainings that covers over 40 other topics on first aid and CPR just for your pets. We have a special offer just for you that'll show up upon completion of this course. So if you have family pets and are interested in learning more from Dr. Connor, you can get started shortly.